the injury to Rasheed Rice is a big deal. I mean, it is. But, like, yeah. again, we're going to go back to this thing. I mean, I think the Chiefs are cooked, huh? <laughs> um, now, listen, it might be different because it's the Chiefs, um, and I don't think the Chiefs are cooked. I think the Chiefs are going to figure it out because they got a great coach, they got a great quarterback who's not playing great right now. Mm -hmm. um, I think when you look at this game, you know, I come away with it and say, hey, Chiefs have work to do in a different way than last year. Like, they're not last year's Chris, team. let's say this, though. They, they figure out how to win games, and yeah. that's, that's so big. That's like, a valuable that's, thing in the NFL. But that's Andy, it's I think. It's stupid, but I think it's that's so Andy. true. Like, they, they just win these games. It is Andy, and it's Spags. Because we see so many other coaches make, like, stupid decisions that – like su stupid decisions at that play them times. That play them out of games. <laughs> yes. Yeah. And, he, and yeah. like, we rarely see that happen with him, and he always has them – in a position to win, like honestly. Well, I mean, it's key moments in the game where it's like understanding the script of the game when Patrick has trouble early and it looks, I, I think he's forcing some things, like mm -hmm. honestly, I felt like he came into the game and he he was forcing, he hit Kelsey and he's like, okay, th I don't know if it's a, this is what we do thing, where it's like, hey, Travis, you haven't been getting the ball, we're gonna get it right today. Derwin James is out, like, you know, yada, yada, yada. But then the hey. second throw in a sea of bodies is like a little much. And then when you get to third down and I'm looking at um, Watson and it's third and seven and he's just sitting down in his zone, like that's where you go with the ball or you go to Juju in the flat, but it's that extra pump. And I know there's a lot of people in that backfield because that front was doing a good job of rushing with power. Mm -hmm. But this was your kind of game. Um, but I, I really think you come away from it and you say, hey, team was down, Derwin, tackles, you know, quarterback on a high ankle, nobody gave him a shot. Bosa. Bosa. And you could say the same for the Chiefs, who are down Brown and now Rice. But I think what makes it hard for them is, in their own right, is like, you can game plan the whole week. I'd rather lose, I'd rather lose Rasheed Rice on Friday. Yeah. As much as that sucks to yeah. lose Rasheed Rice during practice, like, when you lose him in the first quarter, your whole game plan goes out the window. They're doing things with him that are, like, multi-positional. Like, they're putting him in spots they used to put Kelsey in. Oh. They're, they're getting him involved in the run game. So there is an adjustment. And when you're giving the ball to Crocky J, speaking and Crocky of, J. Speaking of cooked. Yeah. Well, he's not <laughs> cooked. They don't have a every, – everything's not cooked. I know, you know but you can't, a, you can't keep fumbling in the NFL. You know that. This isn't, a, this isn't Golden Corral. I'm just saying, but you, you and me both know <laughs> in the NFL, the <clears> one <throat> thing, if you're a ball handler, if you start fumbling, it's going to be hard for your coach to put you in the game. But yet they have. And that's so if you got Kareem points. Hunt coming back looking it, good. And, and, and that's, what I mean? that's a good point. But so are we going to not – Before I lose the mic, before I lose the yeah. mic, Chris, someone in the chat uh, asked if you're menopausal today or what. I think that's your wife. <laughs> Um, <laughs> I doubt you have one, but, but like, so here's the deal. No, I just, you know, like you want me animated. If I came in here, I was sleepwalking. You'd all be like, this show's so fucking boring. I'm giving you a little extra pizzazz on the bangles. Me and Nate, we're doing what we do best. And you're telling me, you know, I don't even know what that word means. Okay. <laughs> um, all right. Here's the deal. The deal is when Crocky J, I thought you were an alligator wrestler. Hold on to football. You know, yes, like, yeah. hold on to football. It's that simple. I think he's still going to get carries because they don't have a choice. Yeah. You can't just give it to – like, Hunt looked good. He's got fresh legs. And you yep. called this. Hunt was going to look good. The biggest part of the game for me was you get the ball backed up, and it's 10-10 late in the game. They ran the ball, like, five straight times to get out of trouble. They flipped the field with a punt from, like, their 35, and then L.A. goes three plays and punts it back. And what did they do? Yeah. They picked up a chunk, and then they just ran the ball. <laughs> and so to your point about Andy Reid and Hunt, like, they're going to do what they have to do to win. You know, they don't yeah. care about style points, nothing. It ended up being a they game. Look, it's winning football. Like, they, their O-line is good. Yeah. I, mm -hmm. they, I know they're that rookie left tackle, and, like, Jawan James, their right tackle, has been penalized a lot historically. But, like, that's exactly what you're talking about, Chris. It's like, they're in all these games because they don't. I mean, Mahomes threw a bad pick, whatever. But, like, when it comes to crunch time, they don't make dumb mistakes and throw games away. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that stat about Patrick Mahomes being, like, what is it, 11-0 when he's down by 10 points, that's ridiculous. Like, that's that's absurd. I don't know if you, you saw that, but to me it's like they mentioned that on the broadcast. I'm like, this is such a perfect opportunity for him to just fucking win this game. And he ended up doing it. It's wild. They just have that, like, it factor where they figure out how to win these games and they do it. It's the defense. The yeah. defense, when you are like when you're New England or something like that, and you're stringing together a couple years of this shit, 
you know, where you find a, a way every year, you're a different team. Like the defense is a really nice thing to be able to hang your hat on. And they've been able to do that. And um, it's like New England when they when they lost to us. You know, they beat us if they figure out the defense that year. But they they left that off the, you know, the team building, you know, recipe that year. It just they missed it. You know, part of the reason with Cincy that you might think they're cooked is the defense sucks. Mm -hmm. Okay. But this team, because they have Spags, is always going to be in the hunt because they have Chris Jones is always going to be the hunt. By the way, Wharton mm -hmm. played his ass off. Yep. You know, guys like Wharton wrecking, a, a, you know, possession late in that game entirely. Yep. Second down, third down. Chris Jones with the game on the line. I didn't like the fourth down call from the Chargers. And part of that is like, I don't know if you can roll Herbert out, but I like a run pass option with a quarterback down there. Chris Jones just wins. He's inevitable, mm -hmm. you know? And uh, in those situations, whether it's Tranquil winning with an up and under, setting up, you know, they're behind the sticks all day. Yeah. Look, like, behind the sticks all day. In the first half, it's third and 25, third and 17, third and 10, third and 17. They come out of the half, they're third and 14, third and nine, third and 11. That is a credit to that defense as well, mm -hmm. you know? But I do – I mean, I like the Chargers, man. I got to – like, I love Justin Herbert. I think he's got, like, the toughness – I feel like that team, like he, he does a good job of like galvanizing that team. I think they're banged up, but I think the Chargers will be really good down the stretch. Like I like Dobbs. I, I feel like they're, I don't know. They just like, they should have won this game. They didn't, but I don't think that they're cooked as some people might say. <laughs> no, that that's what, that's what you come out of this game saying. Like the, the chiefs are going to be fine. They'll figure out a way to be fine. They did it last year and they couldn't do anything right. They're just dealing with injuries right now. And they're trying to bring this, the young running back along and they're bringing in hunt and you know, they don't have cap space to go make a move. You know, right. we, 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 we yeah, what did like, you say like, earlier? It's you, like less than five mil. They have in space. So. Who was the running back that you were like, uh, I think Swift, who we've yeah, perfect Swift, there. We had a really he, he had good day. Awesome yeah. day yesterday in the receiving game. That yeah. was, we saw that last year in Philly, just kind of being underutilized. Yeah. Like that part of his skill set. Um, we both like Andy Cooper. in the or, green game. Oh. We yeah. both like Amari Cooper if you're yep. looking at a wide receiver, but you're not going to be able to afford any of those people. So, well, he, yeah. he his contract they just they just uh, it changed everything to a signing bonus. Oh, they really? Very, yeah, just today. Well, maybe he, oh, maybe look at Adam. Yep. Maybe he's a chief and, because you can get some of the things on the perimeter done in the short game with him, like run after the catch stuff. Mm -hmm. Yep. You know, I would personally go wide receiver before I'd go running back because I think like that's what the league tells us. Yep. Right. Um, Let me ask you a question. <laughs> if you weren't potting well for a few few pods, if we all wore shirts with your face on it and your name, you think you would pod better? Did you see the guys wearing the the, the Kelsey shirts before the this game? This line of questioning is cooked. I don't know. The, I, don't, I don't have the. <laughs> there were there were teammates that were wearing like Kelsey shirts. I think they that, have fun. They have fun, dude. But people were online were like, "Those look like rest in peace shirts." Hey, and <laughs> like, when did, when does Kelsey and Swift break up? I, th I heard it was September twenty sixth. <laughs> <laughs> Anyways, they're cooked, bro. They're cooked. <laughs> Uh, good week so for it, the Chargers but, to have a bye. I just the Chargers are going to be good, and that's like part of it is like looking at the Chargers. You talk about coming out of it and like certain teams that you're like, well, they could get active. I don't know that they'd want to get active like year one of Harbaugh's tenure because they're good enough to muddy it up with people. But that ball that the throw and the catch and the relationship that yes that Herbert and Lab McConkey yeah. are going to have that play in the low red of all the the, the throws and catches I watched like. I, that elicited a yeah. huge response from me personally. I was like, mm. "Wow, dude! That uh, like, how did he fit that ball in there? And yeah. how did Lad know to go back behind him?" Yep, that's a big deal to hit on this guy to where like he's going to be a real pro for you at the very least. Now it's like, how do we fortify him? Because um, Greg Roman could be like for Stafford. You know what I mean? Like coming in and have a great rookie year, great connection. Yeah. Like he, he's going to have a productive year, man. Yeah, no he's question. Kind of no question. But the point I'm making is. You know, this offense can keep people on their heels. That mm -hmm. first drive is a perfect example of that. It's like they're going, you know, they're going screen, they're going tempo, they're going, you know, all all, all sorts of stuff. They were really – they were on top of it the first drive. And, like, it, what it does is it just puts – without putting Justin Fields or Justin Herbert in harm's way. So, yeah. like, that's a – imagine when they can start using him fully. Mm -hmm. And staying yeah. out of these third and 14s and third and yeah. 17s. Yeah, and they're going to continue to get better. I mean, it's easy to forget that 
Uh, Herbert missed a lot of time during camp with the plantar fascia issue. Mm-hmm. So they'll just keep improving. They'll get healthy. And, um, and the, yeah, the defense played great, too. No question. If you are the charge. Before we move on, though. Oh, go sorry. Ahead. Go, go, go. I was just gonna say, before we move on, we got to talk about that deep ball from Mahomes to Worthy. Mm. It was just fucking 63 Gorgeous. yards in the air. And what it's a, a video game throw. <laughs> and what it's a, a video game throw. It's a video game catch. And what, what? a big opportunity <laughs> now for Worthy, like, to, like, to step up, like because like you're, we're all talking about them going out to get a receiver, and even though you're a rookie, now you probably take over those plays that were designed for Rice. You're fast enough to do anything and everything they probably can ask you to do, and right. it's just about like if you can handle all of it. Like it's hard for a rookie. It's been a long year, but it's a, it's a great opportunity for him, and it was good to see him catch that touchdown. And that's kind of like what everyone wants to see from the fastest guy if you pick up the fastest guy you in, want it to in actually the draft. Be, like pay off exactly like, let me see you actually <laughs> even like, if that's people. the only time we see it but it's just like you're like okay now we understand it and we see it in 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 actually happening but you can run reverse well, you got, them in the whole thing everything yeah you got to think Andy Reid's going to come up with that cre- all the creative yeah. stuff for him like like the, the, like, the, like they do for for Reed and Green Bay and all that. So like all those plays, it, it'll be fun to see see it all happen.